name is Deborah Carlson. I am the current PGY1 Managed Care Pharmacy Resident at the Medicaid Center of Excellence in Sullivan University. And today I want to just briefly talk about my residency program, my experience within managed care, and kind of how I got here, essentially. So I graduated from Midwestern University, Chicago College of Pharmacy in Downers Grove, Illinois. I'm originally from a suburb of Chicago, so this university was definitely close to home and within my top choices. I participated in their dual admission program, so I did two years at Loyola University Chicago and then matriculated to Midwestern after I completed all my prerequisite courses. Midwestern, when I attended, was a four-year pharmacy program, so we had our summers to do internships and work and gain experience within the pharmacy world. And I did not start out being interested in managed care when I started pharmacy school. I worked at a long-term care facility in the suburbs and I really enjoyed my job. It's kind of the pharmacy that got me interested in pharmacy to begin with. I had a, actually job shadowed there when I was in high school and it's what made me decide to go into pharmacy so it was really cool that I was able to be a pharmacy intern there for a couple years once I actually started pharmacy school. After that I worked at a VA hospital as an inpatient pharmacy technician and I was convinced that I was going to be a clinical pharmacist in a hospital. While I was in pharmacy school everyone stressed being a well-rounded student so through my job opportunities. In addition, I was involved in Phi Delta Chi, the pharmacy fraternity on campus, as well as ICHP, AMCP, and doing a few research projects. So this was kind of my way of being well-rounded and building up my application to hopefully get a good job at the end of pharmacy school. Later on, I discovered that I would need a residency to become a clinical pharmacist in a hospital, and that kind of changed my mind a little bit. Deciding to do a residency for me was a very financial decision, and it didn't have a lot to do with the career path that I was interested in. So going into my fourth year API rotations, I was convinced that I wasn't going to do a residency. I was just going to try and get a job after pharmacy school and hoping that one of my rotations would lead to a job. However, while maneuvering through my fourth year appies, I kept going back to this field of managed care unknowingly. I was on my clinical specialty rotation and I was tasked with creating clinical criteria for a specialty drug for pharmacist to, pharmacists to review patients based on this criteria, which is essentially what a managed care pharmacist does in utilization management. So that was a very managed care based experience without intending it to be. And as I progressed further through my hospital and general medicine rotations, I really realized that hospital pharmacy just wasn't for me. And I started looking into managed care positions again. And this led me to looking at managed care residencies. The decision to do a residency was not easy. And I don't think that it should be easy for everyone. The pharmacy field is evolving dramatically and more and more entry-level jobs are requiring a residency, but it is not something to take lighthearted. It is a year of intensive work that requires all of you, and it's not something that you should be miserable doing even though it's only a year. So I implore anyone who's considering residency to very seriously think about the pros and cons and who you are as a person and what you want out of your pharmacy career before making that decision. I applied to seven residency programs, all pretty much within the Midwest area, and I received three invitations for interviews and ended up matching at 
the Medicaid Center of Excellence and Sullivan University. So often people ask, you know, what is the Medicaid Center of Excellence? So Passport Health Plan formed a partnership with Evelyn Health, which is a pharmacy benefits management company, and created this Medicaid Center of Excellence. And my program is partnered with Sullivan University, which is a college of pharmacy based out of Louisville, Kentucky, that offers the opportunity to be an adjunct faculty member as a part of this residency program. And I really chose this program because I was still interested in academia. I was still interested in being involved with students. I love precepting. I love being able to share my experience with students and provide any guidance or mentorship that I can to other students. So that's why I really was drawn to this program. In addition, Passport Health Plan and my program specifically is very analytics and operations focused. And I was very interested in formulary management and kind of plan benefit design. So this program just fit my interests almost perfectly. In terms of managed care experience leading up to residency, I participated in the pharmacy and therapeutics, the PNT competition at Midwestern University. So that involved getting an e-dossier with a medication. Our drug was Zoltofi and it included all of the studies, all of the class comparison, pricing information, and our we were tasked as a health plan to determine coverage for this medication. So this really gave me a lot of experience that I was able to speak to on my residency interviews and kind of give me a good picture of what managed care pharmacy was. And as I said before, I kind of fell into other managed care experiences at my rotations. I think it's really important if you're interested in managed care and you don't have the opportunity to do a rotation either at a health plan or an an industry or anything like that to really make your own experiences outside of a managed care setting. So for example, doing PAs at Walgreens and experience just talking to insurance companies looking at their criteria, getting an idea for what information they're looking for, that can also speak to your experience in a managed care field. So just finding ways to get that experience and have experiences that you can speak to on interviews and give you a good idea for what you might be doing during a residency, those are extremely important. In addition, getting involved in AMCP, whether it's at a school university level or volunteering or even just going to networking events, that also speaks volumes at a managed care residency interview as well. Another thing to consider when looking at residency programs or postgraduate opportunities in general is accreditation status. As I said in a different talk, most managed care residency programs struggle with accreditation because ASHP requires more than 75% in direct patient care and that can be extremely difficult in most managed care settings just because there really aren't that many opportunities for direct patient care. So depending on what your interests are and this is something that is going to be person specific all the way around is something that you need to look at in residency programs and decide if that's something that's important to you or not. In addition, there are a lot of internships within managed care. If you're at a pharmacy university that offers summers, there are a lot of internship opportunities out there, whether that's with health plans, industry, PBMs, specialty. So just kind of trying to get involved from that aspect. If you do know that managed care is something that you're interested in, far enough in advance to go for some of those opportunities. AMCP, or the Academy of Managed Care Pharmacy, has a lot of resources out there, not only for students, but for pharmacists in general, but specifically students, they have residency and internship showcases, they have student pharmacist chapter connections, various career opportunities, they have a lot of resources on their website, just including inclusive lists of internships, residencies, just other ways that students can get involved um, 
and different guides to how to get a residency program. So I would definitely suggest to any student interested in managed care to go to AMCP's website and just take a look and see what's out there, see if this is something that fits you, fits your career goals and your pharmacy interests. So going back to my residency experience, I'm about halfway through my residency at this point and I honestly can't say enough good things about it. I had already alluded to the fact that it fit very well with my career goals and with my personal interests in the pharmacy field. So it's no surprise that things are going very well. Everybody at my program is ridiculously nice. They're very easy to work with. They're very understanding. As I said, I'm currently based in Louisville, Kentucky, but I'm originally from the suburb of Chicago. So they're very understanding around the holidays and getting to go home and see my family and the potential to work remotely if needed. There's also a tremendous partnership between the Medicaid Center and Sullivan University. So I'm always able to be on campus or help out with additional classes if I have the interest in doing so. So I think having such a great relationship really makes the residency that much better of an experience for me. In terms of future prospects for me, I would love to stay on where I'm at within Avalon Health or within Passport if possible but I feel that through this residency, I've been able to gain experiences that I could really take anywhere, and I don't think that the opportunities are really limited in the future for me. Hopefully this has helped any students out there who are potentially considering managed care or on the fence about any career opportunities in the future. I will provide my information, so feel free to reach out if I can answer any questions or be of any assistance. Thanks for listening. Hey, thanks for listening to the Pharmacy Residency Podcast. And if you're interested in learning more about the interview process, go over to Amazon.com where you can check out 100 Strong Residency Interview Questions, Answers, and Rationales in print book, ebook, and audiobook.